In the book of Exodus. In what did you Exodus? Chapter 33. Exodus 33. From verse 12. Over verse 12. I read. <laughs> Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people. But you have not let me know who you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so I may know and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. Then the Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. I read from verse 17. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do everything you have asked, because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom you have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see and live, may see me and live. Verse 21. Then the Lord said, There is a place near me where you may stand on the rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will move my hand and then I will remove my hand and you will see my back but my face must not be seen. And from the verse 21. Verse 21. O Jehovah Wati Pega Nanti in Dao Gimi Uyabuma etwaleni Kuyaguti isa zula inka zulo yami. Ngiya gugu faga ofan tu ini netwala. Ngi umbo zenge sanja sami. Ngi zengi zule. Ba zengi susa isanja sami. Ubone umshane wami. Kepa umu sobami. Abu yugu monu. Turn to your neighbor. Au pendo yuma kero ne wako. Tell him o he. Mchele. There's a, there is a place down next to me. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is your word. Even this morning, we hear daddy so that you may minister upon our lives. And we are here listening to you speak to your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the Spirit of God work in a miraculous way. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We, we read about Moses. Brother in Sifunda Moses. Well, I think we all know. That Moses was a man of God called by God to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Yes, when you read uh, from the book of Exodus, you will realize that the man had a debate with God 
Because he was afraid of going and face Pharaoh. But the Bible says he managed to go there because the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. Never go out if the Spirit of God is not upon you. Never go if the Spirit of the Lord is not upon your life. Preach if the Spirit of God is not upon you. Now the Bible says, Man of God, the man of God succeeded. Chapter 33. He says, Lord, if your presence cannot go with me, I will never go. How come? Because this man was moving with God for a long time. For many years, moving along with God. Remember him opening the Red Sea lifting up the stick and this red sea was open I remember him uh, 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 putting down the stick and it turned to be a snake why? because the spirit of the Lord was upon him and I remember him walking in the wilderness where there was no food where there was no water where there was no one who he knew but he moved with the children of God I also remember when the bread that came from the Lord providing for the children of Israel were made by the living God. Because when you move with the living God, the miracles that are going to be performed, when you move with the action of the law, there is power that is going to be manifested. When you move with the presence of the Lord, the things that are unusual that are going to happen. But I am surprised. Moses is telling God that God it doesn't matter that you were moving with me yesterday. It doesn't matter that I was anointed yesterday. It doesn't matter that I was performing miracles yesterday. It doesn't matter that I was preaching yesterday.
Jesus will turn us. We pray. God is speaking to Moses. In fact, it's Moses again. Who is engaging God to a talk? Oh, 
for the one who could go moving with you. Say, let's go. Stand on the road. Your problem is that I have to want to see God. You are not on the road.
from the rock. Walking like this. If you will. And when you go to that cliff, when you go to that cliff, you will realize I have to take the shape of the rock. I have to take the shape of the rock. There is a song that is sung by the Zulu.
shape of the rock. You even cry and be but God has left you alone. Even the Stay in the rock. Go to 